Joining me now are Lisa Sharp, Health Intervention Supervisor, and Chief South International High School students, Oscar Mawaba and Eli Lazo. Welcome all, good to have you here. Well, Lisa, let's talk about um, these grants. You've got the federal grant that is kind of funding all of these efforts to keep kids in school, but there are many grants along with this. So uh, tell me how that works. Sure. So we've been given the great opportunity to be able to give funding in the form of mini grants to schools to implement the Communities That Care program. And that's really just a step-by-step -step guide for schools to be able to implement programs in their buildings to uh, affect the social and emotional health of their kids. So how are they then applied for the various schools? Do, do the schools figure out what they need and then apply? Is that the approach or, or are they selected? Um, the schools themselves will form teams and the teams will receive training and have received training and then they get together and, and look at their own data in their building, what they already have going on, where their gaps lie, and then they, they decide what they want to do and they ask and they implement. So what are they doing? Tell me. There's a few different programs you know, that are scattered out throughout the city. We have bullying prevention programs in some middle schools. We have some drug and alcohol programs in some high schools. And then at Chief Self International, we have Link Crew, which is a mentoring program for 12th, 11th and 12th graders to mentor incoming freshmen. How important are these, these grants and these programs? Uh, what kind of changes are you seeing? We're seeing a lot of changes. It's, I feel like they're extremely important programs because if our kids are not healthy, if our kids are struggling with social problems, with health problems, with risk behaviors, then they're not going to be at school. They're not going to be paying attention at school. They're not going to be learning. All these things are really barriers to learning and barriers to graduation. So if we can help kids and support them in their social and emotional health, then we're really going to see some great change among our kids. All right, let's talk to the guys here because they're involved in a program at Chief South. And, and tell me, uh, Oscar, we'll start with you. Uh, tell me about uh, being a LINK leader. What is the LINK program? Well, the LINK program is a program that um, helps incoming high school students transition into the high school environment and um, just get a better feel of high school and see that it's not really that different from middle school. And um, we just try to get them on the course of success, so we help them with homework and um, spend time with them outside of school just to get to know them better. That way we have that one-on-one -on -one connection. So Eli, you actually were at O'Day, right? Beforehand, before you came to Chief Self, you were involved in this type of program there? Yeah, uh, I came in as a freshman and I was one of the, one of the, like, I was involved in the program and I had a link crew mentor that just kind of helped me with the transition, got, helped me get to know some more people, helped me with homework gave me like tips of just like how to survive high school basically <laughs> um, just how important was that to be able to have that available to you because you know going into high school uh, it can be a bit intimidating um, I'd say it was a huge help um, I definitely got to know more people um, if I had any like small questions like when is homecoming what do I do with homecoming week what is what is that and this gave me those like some, like answers to help the transition and just like like help me get to know more people and kind of like make that big jump a little bit easier and just make myself more comfortable going to school and making it more fun and I can actually start looking forward to school because I have that kind of like mentor to go to if I need help. Did Oscar, was it the same for you? I did not actually have Link Crew at the time but I had a different similar program and I think anything that helps you transition into high school is definitely a good program so um, Link Crew definitely does that for the ninth graders and they're very excited about it. So being a Link leader now, because you guys are a bit older, what, you're a senior and uh, Oscar, you're a junior? Yes. All right. So I, I guess you guys are probably in the mentoring phase right now. Yeah. How is that? Do you enjoy doing it, Eli? Um, I, I like it a lot because I get to be that, that figure that I looked up to when I was a freshman. I get to be that person for my group of freshmen that I'm with. and. It's kind of just fun, just ha like seeing how they grow as a freshman and, and like checking in on them and seeing how they're doing in school. If they're doing well, then it makes me feel a bit better that I'm just like l making a difference, even if it's just like helping them with a the homework assignment every now and then or saying hi in the hallway. It, and have you had other kids tell you that the, how valuable this is and how it's helped them? Because uh, I can imagine, I, I remember going into high school and having all the seniors, you know, target <laughs> us as being, yeah. you know, the, the lower class folks. 
And yeah, it could be a bit intimidating and, and having somebody, nobody guided me. So I would imagine that you guys are, are being able to do that. So it's an important thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, most of the ninth graders actually seemed very um, involved in the school since the program has started. And they always talk about it. Um, I know recently we did an event, we had a scavenger hunt. And to the students that didn't show up, all the students that did show up, we were telling them about it and how fun it was. And they were encouraging them to um, make sure to go to the next one. So they seem pretty psyched. How does this help you, I guess, as you look forward? You're a senior now. I imagine you're starting to think about, oh, college and all of that stuff. Uh, how is this helping you for, I guess, that next step? Um, I guess it's just helping with my leadership abilities and just um, people skills and kind of like just preparing me to like to like to deal with other people and just kind of like see how much I can make a difference and it's kind of just like leading me like what I want to what I want to do do I want to keep helping people and it's just a good feeling. And confidence wise Oscar does yeah. it help you? Yeah it helps with confidence definitely at first it was kind of scary and intimidating yeah. con like being in charge of 10 students but afterwards your confidence level gets goes up so it, it helps a lot. You know this is really cool I think because it's that? I see the, them being articulate but also getting the confidence and leadership skills here that they're really going to need for the future. Exactly it really helps the leaders to be able to develop skills and be successful and feel part of school to feel like they're part of something that's wonderful and that's helping and then it really also helps those ninth graders. We lose a lot of our students in ninth grade. That transition from middle school is hard. And so to be able to feel like they're not targeted, like you were maybe, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you were young, but to feel instead that they have support. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but to instead feel like there's a support, there's teaming, there's a culture in their building that's really welcoming. And um, it, it makes a big difference for ninth graders. It makes a big difference going into that big sea of high school to know that there's people looking out for you and that I, I and learning how to how to work it all. You, yeah. you mentioned about losing a lot of kids that are in ninth grade, making that transition. That, that's a sad thing. Yeah, I mean, it's. I'm, I'm not saying we lose a lot, a lot, but that yeah, is yeah. A, that is a year that that where we do see a, a great number in comparison to other years of um, of dropping out and beginning truancy and, and poor attendance. And so, anything that we can do that helps to support kids and freshmen, those ninth graders, through that transition and keep them there. Because once you learn how the school works and you learn that you're welcome and you learn that you like it there and there's, there's great opportunities to scavenger hunts and go do other fun things and to become part of a community, you're more likely to stay. That's and that's right. what we want. If they're there, they're going to learn and they're going to engage. Well, Lisa, Oscar, and Eli, thanks for sharing and, and best of luck to you guys. And uh, the mm -hmm. next step when you go on to college and you're not that far away yeah. either. All right. <laughs> we want to thank you all for watching and we're going to see you next time right here on Scooping. Thank you.